Come on. Oh, it's just back out here. Okay. Useless. Useless. Alright. Well, now it's... Oops, didn't mean... Oh, you can just press E and get out. Fine. Well, anyway, now I just have to leave. Which is probably the slightly harder part, because there's going to be something that we have to fight outside. Uh, this, this... Well, there's two of these things. But, and they're not... They're not a huge issue at all. You know? They're fine. Actually, we can just presents, because I don't really do that very often. There you go. Yeah, that was useful. Alright. Because I never really use presents. So, there it is. That's not a great skill anyway, but... Yeah. Anyway, since everyone knows you've already planted the bomb... Also, everyone's dead. You can just kind of run. And, uh, be okay. Yeah, like, see, that guy's gone. They used to be there. Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, that door's locked and this guy appears. He's still not a problem, because you just use presence and he does, like, no damage. Come on. There you go. Easy. For some reason, I feel like when I played Gangrel, which is supposed to be a super combat-heavy class, I had so much problem doing the fight sequences, like, during... Like, against that guy, and against the Kuei Jin, the first one. And, really, like, everyone. It's a huge problem. I guess I just didn't allocate my skill points properly, because I was, like, putting points into humanity. And, I don't know where that goes. I was putting points into humanity, and... Other stupid things like seduction, which is useless. <laughs> Yay! Anyway, that's it. Yeah, animation. Your handiwork, I presume. Yeah, this, this guy is cool. Uh, you werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much of the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find that out a little bit later. So, who are you, and why have you been following me? I see my reputation, for once, does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you, per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Yeah, real quick, remember when we saw the wolf on the cliff over at Santa Monica? Yeah, that's, that's Beckett. He's a gangrel, so he can do that. Now, I saw, I saw a ghost. A ghost? Hmm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Yeah, he's basically like vampire Indiana Jones. To put it simply. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Probably for the hookers, too, but... Uh... She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Yep. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. That's what I said, man. You're just repeating my commentary. What the hell? Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. You mean the the ones I just killed? <laughs> Alright, night Beckett. Catch you later. We'll see him, I think, two two more times? Hmm. Yeah, it's two more times. He's a cool guy. I like him. But that's all for Santa Monica. We can actually move on to our next area now. Here we are back with the Hung. You can talk to him if you want to. You can. Yeah, I remember try hacking to. Oh, it's not even on. Of course, there's no 
power cord. How could it be on? Yep, so that's all there is for Santa Monica. There is there are two more quests to do here later. One actually both are in there. I think about it. Is there anything else to do here? Later? I don't know. But once you beat the warehouse, this cab appears. Where to? Oh, sunglasses guy. Just drive. Yep, so only one other option now, which is downtown LA. Sweet. I hate that place, but let's go. I actually live very close to there. Well, not. I live about 45 minutes away. I've been there on multiple occasions, and I really hate it there. It sucks. Hmm. See, that's what happened my first time there, too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's nice. <laughs> I like the bit of fourth wall breaking there with the uh, Sabat dude. Anyway, this is Nines Rodriguez. So, thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, lady. This ain't the burbs. Hey, man. Maybe I should talk to Tens. Maybe he would be nicer. But... You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll this think is about a mean it. existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Yeah, so I have no idea where we just were because that's not a place that you can actually go back to. Like that area that we were just in. Because that wasn't actually... Maybe, I mean, maybe it's still downtown, but it's not an accessible part of downtown. Anywho. Here is the proper downtown. Skyscrapers and tall buildings everywhere. Ooh, I didn't know we spawned next to the hospital. That's a really fun place, actually. Actually, let's, let's go start that. You know, as long as we're here. Let's go... What, um... Yeah, you know, we need something to occupy another 10 minutes, right? Can we start this, actually? I know this door here is locked. It's just not a door, it's a fake door. I think this one we can get in, though. Yep. This is a fun little quest that we can't finish quite yet, but by the end of downtown we can. I think it's, might as well start it as long as we're here. That's another one of those quests that has a slight horror aspect to it. It's because of your terrible hairstyle. Ah. My crew, my crew, my, oh my god, oh my shooting for my shot. My parapsychologist haunted LA. Oh, oh god. God, it was right behind me. I gotta get out of here. It's the orbs. It's the orbs. Look, I'll let everything away. We, we usually fake these things in a hurry. Ghosts and this, that's all bullshit. When we were sitting up downstairs, weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you wait here. No, no, go down there. <laughs> right. Yep. Oh. So you're just, just gonna stay inside? Right. 
I actually really do like this quest. It's fun. And also, there's a dude there. He's scared. Look at that. We should go talk to him. If we can find our way around. Oh! Well, dude's not there anymore. Right. So as we go along here, we'll see something murdering these people. Murder. Well, there's been a murder in Savannah. He comes off the tongue like molasses. <laughs> Classic office. All right. Yeah, it's it's not a terribly long quest, but like we can't finish it. Where am I going? Can't finish it quite yet. <laughs> Another screen. <gasps> like, move, debris. You just, you just get pulled across the gap, like, hmm. Freaking paranormal activity 506? Because the other ones weren't awesome enough. Here's the camera that we just saw. Like, this is where the girl just was. Is there anything up here? I never checked. Like, up there? No. Okay. And there's some blued. Some sangre. 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 So I can't do the R's. I just can't roll my R's. Sangre. Hey, Silent Hill. I didn't know you were coming to the party. Did not know that. But we're a vampire. Who cares? We don't. We don't get scared of things. We have a freaking katana and blood powers. It's you know, nothing to be scared of here. Who cares? Oh, hey there, bro. What's up? How's it going? Hi. Oh. I was about to offer him some coffee. Uh. I don't think you can pick this either. No. Okay. Oh. Hello. Fine lady with the glowing eyes. Is this? Oh, I'm not. I'm not pressing it. Okay. Oh. Real uh. terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Can I get you a bib? Like some wet naps or something? <laughs> Alright. You ate that kind. Kind is another word for humans. That's disgusting. Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Yeah, so we only drink the blood. She is forced to actually eat the flesh. I don't know what... I can look up what she's actually called. I don't remember what it is, but... You have to eat human flesh. We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital. Okay, so who My are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Hmm. See, so we're lesbian. Oh, that's cool. All right. Why well, are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me. The kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Uh, real quick, before I continue on, that, that lesbian comment was a joke because it's, this game has a lot of um, callbacks to other vampire novels and movies and just lore in general. And a lot of vampire lore has to do with vampires sort of being pansexual, which is like they don't really care what gender another person is as long as they like the other person it's they're cool with the, the making outs and the stuff all the lovings yeah so they don't really care 
about the the gender, which is a definition of pansexuality. So, uh, just wanted to clarify: was joking about the lesbian thing, actually pansexual. So, anywho's, he'll never come down here. He's scared. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Yes, that would be a masquerade loss. So, hmm, if it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. And by right now, I mean in the next part. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this part. We met Pisha, we finished Santa Monica, we met Beckett. So we met two pretty cool people. Pisha's pretty cool, I like her. She's, 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 she's just something about her. You know? I'm sorry, oh, I'm a little distracted. Anyway, see you guys later.